getting towards the end of April, which means that winter is over and the sun is starting to shine. But honestly, who actually wants to go outside? You could get a sunburn. Better not risk it. So in honor of those of us who spend our lives in the dark, here's a few stealth games that'll keep you in the cool, cool shadows well into the summer. Let's start with Mark of the Ninja. This fantastic 2D stealth platformer gives you an arsenal of deadly ninja tools with which to either bamboozle or eliminate your enemies as you sneak your way through its gorgeously rendered levels. Everything about Mark of the Ninja is just so darn clean, simple, and oh so satisfying. Developer Clay masterfully uses a few clever visual cues to ensure that you know exactly when enemies can see and hear you at all times, making you feel like a true ninja even in the tensest situations. Admittedly, it is quite short and only about 68 hours to complete the campaign, but by pulling back on length and complexity, Mark of the Ninja is able to deliver a super fun, super streamlined experience that is a stealth masterclass. Next up, Invisible Ink. While this might be the second clay game on the list, don't let that fool you. Invisible Ink goes in a completely different direction, seamlessly merging stealth and turn-based tactics into a truly unique game. Instead of stabbing and sneaking ninja style, Invisible Ink has you controlling a team of spies, hacking, tasing, and slinking through corporate buildings and guard field bases to acquire info and tech. With an almost roguelike permadeath system and randomly generated levels, Invisible Ink certainly brings a challenge and keeps things tense with tough decisions and severe time limits. For those of you who want a brain-busting stealth experience with a tactical flavor, Invisible Ink is worth a look. If you can see them, that is. Let's jump to a classic stealth franchise for number three, Hitman. And while there are more than a few Hitman games to pick from, we've got to go with the fantastic 2016 reboot. The first time you seek out your targets in one of Hitman's six intricate, masterfully realized levels, it's almost certain to be a disaster. But Hitman is a stealth game about patience, planning, and multiple attempts. And as your mastery of the level increases, so too does your ability to pull off a near endless array of creative, entertaining kills. While it is far from the most action-packed stealth game, going through the full process of recon, infiltration, and assassination makes you feel like a true badass killer. Throw in a ridiculous level of replayability, a staggering level of detail, and some of the best designed levels in stealth game history, and Hitman approaches near flawless status. Plus, what other game lets you kill with an explosive golf ball? Check the perimeter. That's just cool. Number two, Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun. All right, people, listen up because this game is criminally underplayed and we're not gonna stand for it anymore. The pitch, Shadow Tactics is a real-time strategy stealth hybrid that puts you in the shoes of a group of ninjas, samurai and kunoichi in feudal era Japan. With katana and shuriken in hand, you're tasked to save the shogunate while facing ridiculous odds and a rich story full of interesting characters. If that doesn't already have you on board, here's the rest. Each character has their own unique set of skills, strengths, and weaknesses in a game that often gives you the freedom to tackle its complex levels in whatever manner you choose. Want to learn the patrol patterns and sneak by undetected? Do it! Want to lure that guard over with sake and take him out with a cleverly hidden trap? Go for it! And while Shadow Tactics levels are often hair-pullingly difficult, there are few things as satisfying as the aha moment that comes when you figure out the perfect way to strike and pull off your plan in a flurry of simultaneous action. So yeah, Shadow Tactics is amazing, successfully combining smart RTS-inspired stealth gameplay with a cool setting, a surprisingly strong story, and challenging levels. Don't miss this one. And sneaking away with top honors, Dishonored. When it comes to first-person action stealth, no game has done it better in the last decade than Dishonored. While its core formula isn't necessarily anything new, Dishonored's level of polish lets it do what the truly best stealth games do, but better. Basically, the game loads you up with a bunch of awesome magic powers and stealth tools, sticks you outside a building, says, get to it, there's people that need stabbing and objects that need stealing, and then turns you loose to do your thing. And that is amazing. With that level of freedom, players are able to approach each level how they want, tinkering and customizing their experience to suit them. But perhaps what sets Dishonored apart the most is that unlike many other stealth games, the action element is just as good as the stealth. Even when you are discovered, our hero Corvo is far from useless, and sometimes fighting your way out of a screw-up is just as fun as the sneaking that got you there in the first place. 
At this point, considering Dishonored is like 10 bucks on Steam, there's really no excuse. Although I'd check if your wallet's still there. This list was about stealth games after all.